Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you how you can set up rural tiles inside of Unity in order to quickly be able to draw in a tile set with all the edges. So kind of like this, where as you can see, the edges are automatically going to be completed based on some rules that we set up. So this makes it much easier in order to draw in a lot of terrain very quickly once you spend the time and get it set up. So step one of setting up a rural tile is going to be to make sure that you have the extra tile set tools installed. So to do that in your Unity project, go up to Window and down to Package Manager. And then you're going to want to search something like Tile over here so that you can grab the 2D Tile Map Extras. As you can see, this contains the rural tile and several other tools that you can use in Unity. So the install button will be right down here if you don't have it installed. So just go ahead and make sure it's installed. So now that we have the package installed to create a rural tile, we can find a folder that we want to add the rural tile to. As you can see, I'm using a specific folder just for these rural tiles. I'm going to right click and do create, go to 2D, tiles, and rural tile. So we'll give a name to this rural tile. I'm going to call it ice rural tile because I'm going to be working with the ice tile set here for this pack. And then if you click on it and you go to the inspector, you'll see some settings that you can change, including the number of tiling rules, which is pretty much the main thing here. So I think we're going to need 13 tiling rules. So that's what we'll start with here. So 13. Of course, this is going to vary depending on if you're doing a top down or side scrolling game and other things depending on how many different situations your tile set accounts for. So it could be a little less or it could be way more than this even. A good practice is that for this center tile, the one that has nothing to the other edges, is that you'll make that the bottom rule. So if a tile doesn't end up matching here based on rules, then it will just go down the list until it finds one that it does. So we want the center tile to be the lowest priority where when nothing else matches, we want to default to these center tiles. So I'm going to go ahead and hit select here, and I'm going to search through my project to find the specific tile. So in this case, if I go up one folder, uh, we can see that I've split this tile set file into individual tile images. So these are what we're searching for, these individual tiles. So let's go back to the ice rule tile. The bottom option, I'm going to hit select, and I'm going to search gatherer which is the name of the tile set. And I'm gonna find that center tile. So in this case, that's gonna be right here. If you can't really see the tiles, you can use this top right scroll bar to show more or less at the same time. And actually, maybe it would be a little easier if I zoom out here, but, but anyway, this center middle tile, as you can see, there's nothing on the edges. So this is just the base tile for that set. So I'm gonna double click there and make that the bottom. And I'm gonna make that the one at the bottom. So let's go fill in all the other sprites here. So I'm going to select, type in gatherer. I'm going to get the top left-hand corner over here. And you can always see the preview of your sprites right there. And let's keep doing this for all of the other relevant squares. So this time I'm not going to add that middle tile again. So skipping over that one. And then we have bottom left, bottom middle, bottom right. And then we have these squares with a single pixel down there. I don't actually need the bottom right one or the bottom left one for these rules because instead of that we're using these ones with thicker pixels and that's meant to match up against these bottom tiles that have a little bit of a thicker edge there so we have the bottom right with pixels on the side bottom left with pixels on the side and then top right single pixel and top left single pixel okay so those are the 13 squares that i'm going to use and now we need to set up the rules for each of them. So if we take a look at the tiles here, it's pretty simple. So wherever there's an edge, there should be no uh, tiles from these ice tiles in the direction of the edge. So we can see on this tile, there is a, I right click and do properties here so you can see better. Uh, there's a edge here and there's an edge here. So that should mean nothing to the left, nothing up and really nothing to the top left as well. So let's go ahead and set up the minimum here. Uh, if I double click on the middle top, then we don't have anything up there. Left side middle, nothing over there. But there should be a tile down and there should be a tile to the right. If we want to be more specific, we could also say there's no tile on the top left since kind of implied nothing up, nothing to the left. There shouldn't be anything up there as well. Uh, shouldn't hurt to put in that extra rule. Then we have an edge that's at the top middle. So nothing there, but yes to left, yes to down, yes to the right. 
And you just kind of keep going through these with your tiles. The rules may be a little bit more complicated on your set, but with this, they're pretty self-explanatory. So nothing to the left, but yes, up, down, into the right. Okay, nothing to the right over here where the edge is, and then yes to up, left, and down. And then we have the bottom edge tiles. So we have nothing to the left, nothing down, but yes to up and to the right. And then this one, yes, up, left, and right, but nothing down, nothing to the right, nothing down, yes to up, yes to left. And then we get down to these corners over here, which are a little different. So we're not gonna have anything in the bottom right here. So you can see those pixels down there. It's meant to kind of go up against these tiles so that if these just kind of end up with a edge and there would be nothing over here, that's where these tiles kind of fill in that edge gap. And uh, I'll point that out a little more later. So there should be yes to up, down, left, and right. So the only thing this is trying to fill for is when there's nothing to the bottom right. And likewise, nothing to the bottom left over here, but yes, up, down, left, right. Nothing to the top right, but yes for other directions. Same thing here, but with the top left instead. And then we have the base tile. So we can take this rule tile now and put it into a tile palette. So I'm going to click on tile palette. Here I have that grass rule tile. Uh, feel free to put your rule tiles all onto a separate palette. So these aren't rule tiles. These are just normal tiles down here. Uh, you could just click up here and create a new palette and then put all your rule tiles there. But if you just want to add a single rule tile, you can just drag this over here and place it there. Now we have our rule tile. So I'm going to start drawing with ice. So let's just add this in. And as you can see, it's going to fill in all of the borders for these ice areas. Now, I want to point out uh, for this specific tile set, I kept mentioning the bottom tiles a lot since those have a thicker border. That's why there's these side tiles that kind of pop out over here with six pixels or so, rather than the top right, top left corner tiles where there'd just be a single pixel. And that's just because the bottom border on this set are thicker to kind of make the land look a little bit elevated. So if you set up all your rules, you can just kind of keep drawing with them. Uh, as you can see for this particular set, uh, it does need all of the areas to be at least two tiles wide or thick in order for it to work properly. So there's nothing really for if you just have a single tile popping out there, um, kind of by intent, since I don't intend for the land to ever be this thin. But aside from that, pretty much works just fine. So uh, one trick you can do as well, if you have similar tiles that are just kind of like recolors like this, then you can just copy and duplicate a rule tile and then fill in all of the lookalike corner pieces using the same rules. So I could just take this ice rule tile, select it, copy, paste it in here. Okay, and now we have a duplicate here. So I could call this dark rule tile. Then we can click on that, go to the inspector. And all I need to do is just change out the tiles uh, that have the same purposes, but uh, with the different style design. So clicking on the top left corner, we'd just be searching for gatherer and then we get that tile there instead. And we just go down the list and then we don't need to redefine all the rules because they're already set up. But pretty much in a nutshell, that is the basics of how you can set up rule tiles inside of Unity. Uh, as you can see, obviously, once you have them set up, it's uh, quite convenient to draw any kind of shape you want for your tile map. And theoretically, it'll save you some time in the long run. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested in these art assets I'm showing in the video, you can find them on itch.io. I have a link in the description. So you'll be able to go ahead and check that out. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my future video content.